really cool effect that you can do using the skeleton effect is deforming the textures you may have. Now what we have here is our plaid texture that we have set up. If we go to our color palette, we have our bones color palette. And this is where we have our light plaid texture. And the cool thing about any textures you import, I'm going to simply double click to edit. And you'll see that there is a checkbox that says deformable by bones. Now what this basically means is if we decide to add some bones here, let's just simply go in and we'll just add these two bones. All right, we'll go to manipulate this. Because we had that box checked, if you notice, the shirt is actually bending, or the pattern of that shirt is actually bending along with the bones. And it's a really nice effect. Now, if we can go back in here, and we'll uncheck this box and click OK. The other cool effect you can do is that pattern does not move. So it's a nice little effect you can do for all of that. So it makes it appear as if the pattern is huge because it is set up to tile. So incorporating textures with bones, you can get two really cool effects. You can either work and have the pattern just constantly shifting and working behind the animation, or you can double click and make sure it's deformable by bones. And it's if the character is really wearing a plaid shirt, and that pattern stays with the arm.